Most people say these are the same when it comes to flashlight vs torchlight. Due to the differentiation of the English language, this confusion occurs. Some English-speaking countries, like the USA, Canada, etc., call it a flashlight, and some other English-speaking countries, like Australia, United Kingdom, etc., call it an electric torch. But torch and flashlight are two different things. There are many differences between these two light sources. In this video, I will share some shocking differences between a torch and a flashlight you didn't know before. So, don't miss this opportunity to enlighten yourself. A torch is basically a burning stick that gets fired up at the tip, and it gets slowly dimmed after some time. This was a famous light source before the 18th century. People used to lit torches before going out at night. Using a torch was risky as it has a flame at the top. It could easily cause fire, which was a big issue then. In the late 18th century, David Massell came up with a 100% secure solution called a flashlight, and the flashlight was invented in the USA. However, in other countries like the UK, the invention was known as the electric torch, but in American English, a torch means burning torch, burning sticks with flame. As you can see, in UK and Australia, burning a torch means using a flashlight, but in the USA, burning torch means using burning sticks. A flashlight is a portable handheld electric light that uses the power of a battery to provide light. The early flashlights were early electric torches. For people of the UK light source typically was an incandescent light bulb, and zinc carbon batteries powered it. There is an interesting story behind the name flashlight. In 1899, when David Massell invented the first flashlight, it was a zinc carbon battery power. That's why, instead of stable, the light was flashing. Also, it couldn't give light continuously. So after using it for a while, the flashlight has to be turned off to rest. After seeing the characteristics of the new invention, Comrade Huber, a Russian inventor who marketed the flashlight, named its flashlight. So, if you're looking for torchlight and flashlight, then I'm sorry. These two are basically the same thing. Not just that, many claims that the flashlight name is invalid in this era. Now, the name flashlight occurred because, at some point, battery-powered flashlights had to stop working. But today, it's not true anymore. There are solar-paneled or chargeable flashlights that never die due to the lack of power. So, they say, the word flashlight is not valid for today's flashlights. In my opinion, if the flashlight isn't valid, the torch isn't valid either. So, let's drop it. And, get back to the difference between the torchlight and a flashlight. A torch is basically a burn stick, and by burning, a torch light source typically was found. Slowly the light gets dimmer, and the torch light becomes dim light, not bright enough. Most people in 18th century used the torch as a light solution. Nowadays, torches are only used to illuminate traditional events, like the Olympics, monuments, like Statues of Liberty, or in woods to rescue wild animals. Torches are very risky to use. The flashlight is a portable handheld electric light powered by a battery. It uses incandescent light bulbs or light emitting diodes, LED as a light source. The lighting power of the flashlight is steady. It doesn't become a dim light. The flashlight was very popular in the 19th century, and even today, many people use this device to produce light. The usage of the flashlight is common. It's a portable and affordable device that can be used anywhere. Flashlights are very easy to fit and safe to use. Did you know? The word torch is an old French word that means twisting. In this modern world, there is no point in using a torch over a flashlight, and I won't even describe why. Nowadays, flashlights are brighter with the power of LED, and many models don't require a battery. These are super rigid that even if you dropped it, it'd still flash like a beast. Just like the torch versus flashlight, thousands of other arguments have no need, and there is none to blame as it's a fact of geographical change. But now you know the answer, so I hope you learned something new today. Make sure to share it with others as well. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.